Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on July the 15th, 2019. Stocks up before retail sales and earnings data. U.S. and European stocks were slightly up at the start of a busy week for Federal Reserve speakers, corporate earnings and economic data. Futures on the S&P 500 index were little changed after a rise 0.5% on Friday. Eurostox 50 futures climbed 0.2%. Equity indexes in Shanghai and Hong Kong rebounded early losses after advances in Chinese industrial production and retail sales for June beat all estimates. Amid the Australian dollar hit its highest in more than a week, Japanese markets were shut for a holiday. Earnings season begins from Citigroup Inc. on Monday. Bitcoin declines on President Trump's criticism. Bitcoin experienced sizable slump in another large weekend move after U.S. President Donald Trump's criticism of cryptocurrencies late last week put the focus back on the year's jump in prices. The largest cryptocurrency decreased 15% since Friday to trade at $10,028.55 in Hong Kong after briefly dropped to $9,980. As for other digital coins, Ethereum declined 23% and Litecoin fell 17%. On Thursday, Trump wrote on Twitter that he is not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are not money, and whose value is highly volatile and based on the ear, adding that unregulated crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior, including drug trade and other illegal activity. He also criticized Facebook Inc.'s plans for the leave digital currency. Bitcoin initially climbed 6.8% in Friday. After Trump's comments, the crypto king continues to tumble now. China GDP growth slacks in the Q2. China's economic growth slowed to 6.2% in the second quarter, its weakest pace in at least 27 years as demand at home and abroad paltered in the face of mounting U.S. trade pressure. While more upbeat June factory output and retail sales offered since an improvement, some analysts cautioned the gains may not be sustainable and expect Beijing will continue to roll out more support measures in coming months. Monday's growth data marked a loss of momentum for the economy. That boosted expectations that Beijing needs to do more to boost boost consumption and investment and restore business confidence. China's growth could slow to 6-6.1% in the second half, said economist Nia Wen. That would test the lower end of Beijing's 2019 target range to 6-6.5%. Xiaomi invests in chip designer Vary Silicon. China's Xiaomi Corp has taken a stake of roughly 6% in competitor chip designer Verisilicon Holdings Co. Ltd. As a smartphone maker revamps its years-long pursuit of success in semiconductors, which it sees as central to driving innovation. The investment comes as the government identifies chips as one of several sectors in which it wants the country to become more self-reliant under its Made in China 2025 initiative. In a filing to the China Securities Regulatory Commission published online on Thursday, Verisilicon revealed the fund run by Xiaomi became its second-largest external shareholder in June. Verisilicon's biggest external shareholder in the China Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, a centralized national-level fund for the domestic semiconductor industry.